the commander bannings of Jeweled Lotus and Mana Crypt. This has sent shockwaves through the community. Let's discuss. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum. So the reason why they banned these, and the reason why they banned them when they did, money. All right, remember to like and subscribe. And <laughs> the video's not over, but that's what it comes down to. This whole thing, it, it was handled poorly because Wizards is greedy, and Wizards wants your money. So let's discuss already. Um, there's a, a commander rules committee and there's a commander advisory group, right? And the advisory group is supposed to talk to the rules committee or the rules committee is supposed to ask the advisory group about any bannings or actions in commander. Now, commander is a player, is a consumer um, made and governed format. Wizards of the Coast... Um, isn't supposed to be the ones that are like in charge of commander, you know? So because of this whole thing, we've already had two people, um, retire or quit from the rules committee and advisory guild one, one from each, I believe. So look, th this whole thing is weird. And if, if they were trying to do it, you know, in steps or instead of just one crazy thing that's concerned about money, they probably would have banned Nadu and Dockside first and see how that affect the format before they took out two major cards that, well, one that they created for the format, which is, it's ridiculous, okay? Um, so what this is, is capitulating to the game piece army at the same time as trying to do something real. Instead, they just threw in expensive cards. Now, the effects of this are pretty, uh, you know, wide, and, of course, we have major price movements on Jeweled Lotus and Mana Crypt. Let's, let's check it out. Hold on. Okay, as you can see here, this dip, it went from $100 down to 53 Mana Crypt, we had 180 down to 95 So they've been halved, right? And then you have stuff like this where Mana Vault is going from 100 to... 300 275 or let's look at one that isn't um here this is no that's not a good idea let's look at fourth edition this is a better example uh well you have to do this okay so as you can see here we got a, a 50 dollar card turned into a 125 dollar card so you know they had the opposite effect. They, they, they made cards more expensive. It's so weird, right? But what I'm trying to say here is, um, with these numbers, sell your mana, grip, mana vaults because you sell into the hype. You don't buy into the hype, right? You're not, you're not selling your, your mana crypts now, selling into the, the, the loss. If anything, you'd be buying mana crypts and selling mana vaults. You, know? you understand what I'm saying? So you should be selling into the hype, not buying into the hype. Um, so the rules committee knew about this uh, banning or desire to be banned for a long time. Um, it's like a, it's really annoying that wizards had influence on this, right? They knew about it for a long time, meaning what around the year people were, were, were planning to ban jeweled Lotus and mana crypt yet commander masters and Lost Caverns of Ixalan came out. Two of the main selling points in these sets was a, a, um, a textured Jeweled Lotus and a Neon Ink Crazy Chase Mana Crips. And now that you've pulled that out of Lost Caverns of Ixalan, like, I mean, really, the set wouldn't have sold as well if we knew that Mana Crypt was going to be banned. Um, the only reason to delay was so Watsi can sell their products, right? The most egregious part about this is the secret lair, okay? Literally two out of the three packs were, were winners that you got in the secret lair. Commander Masters, Wilds of Eldraine, Lost Caverns of Ixalan. Here, here, I got it right here because I opened, I opened one. Look, right there. Two out of three of these packs now have had the top hits uh, taken out of them, basically. And it, it's so egregious that Wizards announces the secret lair and, oh, we're putting these packs in there. And they're good ones, right? 
but as soon as the secret lair sells out, as soon as, within like days, this announcement comes. You're telling me that this wasn't, this was so planned. Yes, Wizards is going to now come out with cards that are similar and, oh, it's going to sell sets. Some Julier Lotus or a freaking Mana Cryptish, you know, who the hell knows. But it's, that's what's happening. They did this for money, very specifically. These two cards didn't need to be banned. Or they didn't need to be banned together. Why would you do this? Why would you... It's like... It's like nuking a city four times. When maybe twice would have done the job, guys. Like, you just keep on going and going. You should have stopped uh, after the first two cards. These, these two, there was clearly no motivation other than money. Yeah, I, I, it's sad to see. It's really the, the most egregious thing like i said was the secret lair even though it's pretty obvious the rest of it it's a shame that wizards has any say over this player created format it's a shame that commander is like the number one thing for magic you know like what did they do to standard you know what that's a whole nother issue <laughs> today we're just discuss discussing the you know this horrible move so for me look I don't have a ton of commander decks like I don't play right now. I'm trying to get back into playing, but with a baby and another one coming, I don't know when. <laughs> so I don't have a ton of these cards. I have a few. I have um, I have some of the best ones. I have the Mana Crypt from Kaladesh Inventions. Uh, Jeweled Lotus, I never got into that. Actually, I never pulled one, and I didn't need one because I don't have any commander decks, so I don't have any. I have Mana Crypts and Mana Vaults and uh, a couple of Docksides from my brother's collection. And... Yeah, it's a shame to see them all going down, but, like, the reasoning behind it. If there was a solid reasoning, you just kind of accept it. Okay, so the thing about this is, this affects newer players and collectors disproportionately. As Magic 30 affected older players and collectors disproportionately, this affects newer players and collectors disproportionately. In the past few years, uh, newer people haven't seen what wizards did in the past so a chase mana crypt seemed pretty safe to collect jeweled lotuses the textured ones you know stuff like this it's like now they just got smacked in the face by watsi you know i learned my lesson i learned my lesson back in the day with um thought seas thought seas and reprints okay they printed thought seas in larwin then they printed it again in theros Okay, it's a reprint, right? It had different art. I was fine with that. They brought it back for Iconic Masters with the original art. And when they did that, I said to myself, okay, even art is reprintable. Nothing from WotC is safe in the past, right? And then, and then Magic 30 happened. So that proved to me that even Reserve List isn't that safe. Yes, Reserve List is safer than newer stuff because... <laughs> Well, they already said they wouldn't reprint this, you know. <laughs> but still, like, take this to heart, guys. Look, I know it hurts. I know it sucks. Quitting angrily isn't the thing to do. That never helps any situations. Rage quitting, okay? So what you can do is understand this, take this in, and adjust how you approach collecting or, um, or buying magic moving on, moving forward. And you know, it's pretty funny. The whole game piece army pushed by the professor. He tells you to buy singles. What happens to people who just bought singles like Mana Crypt and Jeweled Lotus for their freaking collection? If these people had open packs instead, they'd have a wide range of cards. Instead of listening to you, professor, now they're out hundreds of dollars on one card. Way to go. Anyway, um, I don't... I. This is a negative video. I know negative videos get clicks, but I don't like being negative. I'm trying, I've been trying to be positive. In fact, I'm going to film an opening of a couple of Duskmorn packs because I was looking forward to this set. I don't know, guys. Um, I don't know. Remember to like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon. We got a lot of cool things there, including uh, box breaks that we need more people for. Otherwise, take care. Have a lovely day. Peace. Game over, man. Game over. What are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do?
Maybe we could build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that?